Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing a service dog related DIY and that is going to be for all of those patchaholics like myself. So please stay tuned for what I'm going to do and uh, that's to make you a patch holder or show you how to make a patch holder. If you have any further questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Also be sure to thumbs up this video and be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be having a giveaway over on my Instagram at service dog underscore stone and it will also include extra entries if you're subscribed to my channel. So make sure that you follow the directions that I'm going to leave uh, when that time comes and uh, you could possibly be a winner of some dog stuff and maybe some human stuff and it's for pets all around like it does not it's not just for service dogs so i'm throwing that out there now pass on the word and let's get to it all right so i'm going to apologize for the weird angle to start with um what we're going to be working on is a board for our patches the things you're going to need are patches if you're a patchaholic, that shouldn't be a problem. Another thing you're going to need are these sticky back Velcro strips, um, or not strips, but tabs. You can see they're little circles. You can do strips as well if you're more comfortable with that, but I thought that this would just be easier for a simple stick-on deal. The other thing you're gonna need is a picture frame and some fabric, which I had already gotten a head start on this before I started my YouTube and I just hadn't finished, but you can see I wrapped the fabric around it. Now, my idea initially was to put the fabric across the top and sew on uh, the Velcro strips, and that way I could put um, my patches on it. However, what I ended up doing, because I got the wrong picture frame, and this is one of those slide-in ones, I ended up having to put the fabric behind the glass and so I got to thinking what could I do to fix it and what that is is I'm going to put the velcro on top of it and that means if I ever want to change out this background I can change it to whatever I want so if I want to go and print a big old picture of stone I can put it in there or whatever else um, you'll also see there's some pins over here and that is because that is another project that I'm working on another little DIY and depending on how long this video is I may throw it in on this one so that's why it's sitting there because I wanted it ready to go so first thing you're gonna want to make sure is that you've got fabric you're gonna want to make sure that it's nice and stretched tight you can see that mine has some wrinkles in it um, I'm not worried about that this uh, this fabric is quite old I've had it for many many years and I just thought it might look nice on the wall and um, please ignore my horrendous nails. I need to redo them for Halloween again. Um, DIY does this to your nails. I don't know how anybody else keeps them like nice uh, except for for fake nails. Um, anyways, but you want to iron your fabric and then put it into your picture frame. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up your, open up your package of Velcro. And like I said, this just got picked up at Walmart. The only thing that's not from Walmart that I'm aware of would be the fabric that I used. And I have had this for so long. I want to say it came from like a Joann's remnants, uh, remnants box or something. And so you can see there's plenty of Velcro dealios on here. Dealios. I'm so, I'm so professional, guys. There we go. I kind of like how they did that and they gave us a little bit of both so that's nice um, the other thing we're going to do is some of mine do not have some of my patches do not have velcro on the back yet so what I'm gonna do for the temporary time is probably just attach one of these and then I'll go back later on uh, maybe like you know in this upcoming weeks or whatever and I will sew on velcro onto these patches so, like I said, some of these don't have Velcro on them. Some of them do. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with the ones that do today. But I wanted to show them all off anyways. Um, they're in my gear haul. But just to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like. And, and I mean, I guess technically you wouldn't even need to finish watching the video, but that I would really appreciate if you finished watching the video. Um, 
So these are all my patches currently. And so all, all of my patches come with the rough side. And so what I'm gonna wanna use is the soft side and attach it to wherever I want. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and start just like you read a book. And I'm gonna start with this one, um, which is one of my favorite patches. And I'm just gonna find a good place where I wanna put it and stick it on. And you'll just continue to do that for every, every one that you uh, want to put on your board. Now these, these patches will end up going back on my vest, um, or Stone's vest I should say. But for the time being, they are going to be on here for our DIY. And it's very simple. I don't think I'm going to show all of this because I think you guys understand where I'm going with this. The other option you could do is you could do the exact same thing with your wall, or you could um, get a piece of like plywood and paint it. And um, see now this one, it has a back, but it also had an additional piece holding onto it. Um, you could also get just a piece of plywood and do the exact same thing, paint it however you wanted, and then put Velcro strips on it. Um, I, I found these strips, um, these Velcro strips in my Walmart's uh, like fabric section, and that's where they have all different kinds of strips of uh, Velcro, different fasteners, things like that. So picked them up, it was really, really cheap. There's 80 circles in this, but it, it's both sides. So if you don't have a purpose for the other, uh, I, I don't know what you're gonna do with it. But I have some ideas in mind on how to use those, so I'm not too worried about it. And uh, yeah, this was the first part of my little DIY. I'm just gonna leave it at this so that you guys can kind of see. And I'm going to go ahead and hop on over to part two of this similar DIY. All right, so this is part two of my little DIY for people that like to collect things like patches and pins um, for their service dog gear or maybe even just for your own personal use. Um, what I did is I had a cheap frame. I apologize in advance, the sun is shifting, so I apologize. Um, I don't have my ring light up right now because the sun was shining just a second ago. Anyways, I took this old picture frame that I've had for forever, um, took the original picture out of it because it was just like the classic whatever came in the, the, fra the frame. And I went ahead and took this outside and spray painted it. I did this yesterday, so it's, it's chromed out. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is flip it over and this one has one of those terrible uh, the nails that you have to make sure in the right place otherwise you can't get anything in them and let's see here what I am going to do is I am going to put the white side of that picture like I said it's just a generic picture of nothing but you know what came then I'm gonna put the cardboard behind it and I'm gonna slip them as if it was the glass then I'm going to put my glass in, and that's just to keep it tight. Toy. I know that was lame. Oh look at I lost more nail polish. See, that's what I'm talking about, guys. The, this DIY world is not meant for people with long nails and um, with nail polish. I've always hated these little things, and I'm always worried I'm gonna smash my hand in them. Okay, you don't have to watch me struggle. We're gonna call that good for now. I'll fix the rest later. So what you should have is a piece of paper and mine unfortunately has some marks on it probably from just getting scratched across this. My suggestion would be to use fabric, but right now I do not have a fabric piece that I wanna put here. So I'm using just the paper and the cardboard. Another thing you could do is use, um, besides like your normal fabric, you can use a filler and uh, just like the sheet kind of filler um, and cut it to size and then put your fabric over it. And the whole point is just to make it, we're gonna start here with a uh, pickle rick. 
Um, let me get the tag off. I haven't even taken the tags off, guys. And the point here is to be able to take your pins that you have and just slide them. Well, if I can do this, let's see if I can do it. There we go. Slide them into the board so that way you can hang up your board and it will display your pins. This is why I say I suggest like a fabric of some kind is because looking at this, that's not very like impressive, but it's doing its job. And I just wanted to show you guys just a quick little DIY for your pins. Um, you can also put on like lapel pins, but you're gonna need a place for your, your backs. Like, so if you just wanna display these, then you can just take the backs off and put them wherever. What I'm personally gonna do is stick the lapel pin piece in a safe place, like a jewelry box. That way, if I ever want to put this on or put it um, on like on stone, that I still have the back piece for it. So that's what I'm gonna do now, is just gonna continue on and I will show you guys the finished product. product. Thank you. Oh, and I almost forgot the lapel pin. Like I said, this piece here, the backing will go into a safe place so it's not lost forever. And then I'm just gonna stick, oh, where do I wanna stick you? I'm gonna put you in the corner like a loner. And there is my finished project. All right, and here is the finished project for my patch board. I really hope you guys enjoyed so I really hope that you guys enjoyed and that this was helpful for maybe somebody. Um, I know for myself it was hard to figure out what I was going to do with everything. And uh, this seems to be the best alternative. Plus I really like seeing my stuff on display because it just reminds me of how much I enjoy it. And it gives me the chance to swap out pretty easily. So that's, that's what you're gonna see at some point. They're gonna be hung up on the wall. I'm gonna enlist my husband to do that as I am still recovering from an injury and um, I think I'm going into uh, some other issues that are like going on with my health, like having issues with that. So I'm gonna try to kind of keep my energy, you know, to myself as much as possible. Spoonies will understand. Uh, and yeah, so that's what we got. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for other ways to hang things, leave them down below because other people might not want to do this. They might have uh, limited space or maybe, you know, maybe the Velcro is just something that they're, they're sensory wise, they can't handle. Um, you never know. It might be helpful to somebody. So just leave it down below. Thanks guys. Bye.